We're getting our Black Widow challenge going, y'all. Black Widow time. Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for being here. It's game time. Welcome to the first installment of game time. Game time is where I basically um, play video games and especially play The Sims. I've been playing The Sims since I was 11, 12, since the very first version of The Sims came out. I'm a diehard simmer. So the first challenge that I'm kicking off is the Black Widow Challenge. I didn't create this challenge and I'm putting a link in the description also to the person that I think created this challenge, but sometimes it can be a little bit harder to track down. So I just wanna put it in there just in case. Now with this one, the goal is pretty much to marry people so that you can kill them and take their money. It sounds really dark because it is really dark, but it's also kind of darkly fun. And I don't know what that says about me, but I it's um, it's a, it's it, 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 we're playing it now with this challenge. There are actually a lot of rules. So instead of listing all of them here, I'm just going to put a link in my description of the rules that I'm abiding by for this challenge. Now I do consider myself a rules purist. However, there are many rules. And so I do think that I probably have forgotten some of them during my gameplay. And uh, I've already internally called myself out for them. I, I, I know that it happened. There's just a lot of rules. I do consider myself a rules purist. Last thing I wanna say is that the rest of this video and the first couple videos of this challenge might look a little bit like they're just downloaded from Twitch, cut up, and then put on YouTube. And that's because that's kind of what I did. So I started streaming on Twitch about two and a half months ago, and I didn't have the plan to make a YouTube channel. And then after doing all that, I was like, hey, it would be fun to make a YouTube channel and to put these on my YouTube channel also. But they are still very fun to watch. There's just a lot of different things kind of on the screen. They're not gonna look like this, but that's just because Twitch is different. Also, if you wanna follow me on Twitch, I have the same username, Chantel Houston. Enough of the caveats. Let's get in to the Black Widow Challenge, episode one. The thing is, this is not, this is not in my nature. I want to kill this vampire. I say we dive in. So, we're gonna do oh no thanks because we need to make sure that they have the jealousy trait. What should we name our Black Widow? Let's see what it randomly generates for us. Reese Hanley. Why do I kind of love that? Hanley's kind of a funny name. All right, so per the challenge, um, she has a Mansion Baron aspiration. She also needs to have a jealous trait. And then we are free to choose the other traits as we see fit. I mean, should she be evil? She probably should. I think we're gonna make her evil. Yeah, look at her, that's her. All right, she's gonna be evil. Oh, evil and romantic, yes. That way she can lure everyone in. We'll make our young adult fabulous. I want to make her look just like super casual, super chill, and just like down to earth. She's just like, yeah, come over. We'll hang a bit. It'll be cool. It'll be chill. No worries. This look is like, I'm cute and I can seduce you, but I'm also ready to run after I stab you in the face. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. I feel like she has to look super unassuming, you know? Women, we are underestimated all the time. Ooh, hold on. This is a look, y'all. This is a look. I'm leaving this for her formal wear. After I got done giving my speech of like, she's just gonna be casual, she's gonna lure people in. I'm like, okay, so I'm gonna let her be a fancy ass bitch. What sort of athletics should she do? I'm always a fan of a crop top. I feel like crop tops are super cute. I don't I don't want her athletic stuff to be super matchy matchy because I feel like that's, when, when you're working out, you're working out. Oh, look at her glasses. Look at her sleep glasses. They're so cute. I don't mind this. And honestly, I'm just really partial to these bunny rabbits. I think this is pretty cute. 
Oh, shit. Wow. <laughs> Sam. They they knew exactly what challenge we were doing. How did they know? I feel like it just needs to be black shoes. An all black ensemble. What other healed? Ooh, maybe these. Yes, a little strappy look. Swimwear. Oh, this is adorable. Ooh, let's do it red. Red is pretty. Why is she always trying to wear leggings? These dresses are cute, y'all. I literally never play with dresses, and now I'm like, why? Honestly, I think this is the most unassuming color combo. So I'm going to do this. What about these accessories? Can give her a little watch. I want her to be this. This this feels very Black Widow-y. I think this is adorable. Here is her face for every day. I don't mind this. I think this is cute. Might add just a little bit of blush on the cheeks. I like this lip color. I want this lip color. Someone want to swatch this lip color for me? I really like it. So now I want to change this up. I want to change her hair a bit. Oh. Oh my. Wow. That might be too much. Ooh. No, I like this. This is going to be her formal. I love the drama. Yes. For formal wear, I'm always just like dark. We go dark. Brilliant. Athletic. She can be back in her ponytail. Because I'm like, we don't need to be exercising makeup. That is not good for our skin. That's a no-no. Okay, what do we want her hair to be for? For Porty. Ooh, this is kind of pretty. Okay, let's get to her makeup. Ooh, whoa, whoa. It's supposed to be fun. Is this too much? I kind of like this. I want to make her look just like super casual, super chill, and just like down to earth. Let's do, is there kind of a soft little rosy pink? Okay. See, would you ever suspect this girl of murdering you? No. But is she going to? Yes. And I think this is maybe okay. Oh, these are cute. Yeah, like these. So the eye colors are up here. Are we are we wanting to to change her? Whoa. Whoa. Look at those eyes. I mean, that's kind of saying something. Think that she's good to go, y'all. I think that we're getting ready to play. Let's start in spring. Why not? Let's try for Gone Hollow. Okay, we can afford this lot. Hopefully she won't get turned into a vampire. Let's risk it. And sure, we'll buy it furnished so we can get our gameplay underway. Okay, let's see what this little home is looking like. So we bought it furnished. So it's creepy, <laughs> but it's not bad. Pretty, pretty standard little home. I say we take her out on the town because we have to find our first victim. Is there anyone out? Oh, 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 go there. Who is that? Who are you? Is this Marcus? It is Marcus. Yes. All right, y'all. I think Marcus is officially going to be our first victim. You're running. I can run too. Two can play that game. Ah, a flush. Bumcaro Musti. What's the thing about our love life? Let's, uh, you know, we, we, need, to, we need to build this up. We need to get to know him. Oh, no. Caleb is at our home. Let's go say hi to Caleb. Bye bye. Oh, there he is. Oh, hold on. Let's go meet you. Go. Go meet him. Why do we have negative interaction with him? I'll ask him about his day. We'll get to know. Is Caleb going to be our first victim? I don't know. That would be kind of. Caleb is a vampire, y'all. Oh, he's a foodie. But he's a vampire. Because maybe Caleb is going to be our first person. You can kill vampires. I accidentally killed a master vampire in a different game <laughs> uh, with fire. All right, Caleb is loving us, y'all. More friendship, more friendship. Brightness day. Even though he's a vampire, maybe he's having a bad day, you know? <gasps> he's into it. He is into it, y'all. He's materialistic. Well, good. Then you can give me all of your money. Because Caleb has a lot of money. He does kind of look like Robert Pattinson. <laughs> Yeah! We have our first kiss! So, for the rules, I know that they have to go a couple places together before we can try to kill him. Have to have them move in before they get married. In order for them to move in, we need to have some romantic interest already built, which we technically already have. Should we ask him to move in? I I've never done that before. Let's see. Did he already say yes to moving into us? Wait, this is working, y'all. Oh my god. 
but yeah, they are down a lot of the time to move in. Okay, well he he is Caleb is. He yes, bring your money with us, and then we can do a home makeover. Okay, sorry Lilith, he's coming with me, bitch. Say bye bye, cause you're never gonna see him again. A. Yay! Wow, he's already in our household, y'all. Oh my god. We seduce, we rob, we kill. Hell yeah. Is that's what we do? Oh come on! Why didn't he bring his money? Ugh, Caleb, worthless, worthless. They about to woohoo, y'all. Look at them go. Hey, I heard you became friends with Caleb Vittori. He's pretty cool. He is pretty cool. He gonna die though. Wow, look at them. Yes, Caleb. Yes. Yeah, okay, we are gonna be boyfriend and girlfriend. Should we propose and everything within the same day? Hey, where are they going? Let's propose. Let's see what he does. Thing is, we got it. We gotta get on with this. Do you want to be my husband, vampire man? Do you want to be my husband, please? Reese is proposed. I forgot her name was Reese. I love that name. There's Lilith over there. She's she took all our money. Oh, we need to cook. We don't need to cook for Caleb, huh? Because he like doesn't eat anything, right? How is Caleb a foodie? I don't understand. There's literally no one that's not a vampire in here. So there's no way for him to drink. Let's go to another world to uh find someone to drink their blood, literally. Let's go drink someone's blood from Strangerville. We're just going from the hollows to Strangerville. Oh my God, here's Marcus. Wait, he's gonna drink Marcus's blood. Wow, what a turn of events. Six degrees of separation, y'all. He's like, you're gonna be my soon to be wife's next victim. Um, But can I drink your blood? This is so interesting. I like never play with guys. Okay, do it please. Yeah. Yes. I'm getting too into this, y'all. Wow, 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 wow. It's happening. Oh my god. I will drink your blood. And Marcus is down. Okay, let's go home. <laughs> One step closer to, to marrying and killing our spouse. Okay, let's throw a party. It's party time. Let's just do a house party. So we're just doing it right now. Okay, gold level rewards to include a new electronic item. Yes. Be the talk of the town. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna do this. It's just gonna be here in our tiny little baby home. Okay, so we need to get gold in this event. Dude, we have to socialize with guests 12 times. Okay. And then Caleb, stop programming, and then you help do a vampiric spot. I kinda wanna see what that's like. This is a good little party. Oh, we need to tell some jokes. Why is there a cake? All right, why why not be a cake, I guess? We need four people to be eating food. It's yay. They're all, they're all eating. Yes, we did it. Oh my God, and we have to eat cake. Jesus, we have to buy something so that they can play games. What's a quick game that we can buy? What's a quick game that we can buy? This one maybe? What, is, what the hell is this? We're just gonna put this here. I wanted to hate this challenge, but I'm like, it's fun. Okay, we're gonna make them all play this game. Oh God, we're like literally out of money. Why is no one playing? <laughs> We have to get gold on this, otherwise it's moot. Y'all, go play this game. No, we're running out of time. Fuck, we're not gonna get gold. Ah! We did not do it. Damn it. They can go to the museum. That's something else that, that they can do together. So let's go. I always forget where everything is. Yes, Plum Bob Pictures Museum. Hottest spot in town. Here we go. Just says that they have to kind of like come here together, so. And then we'll have them spend some time here. Let's have them flirt a little bit. Hey, they became good friends. Good. Oh, this is great. All right. I think we've done enough. Let's go home. Yay. We're going to become best friends. Hell yeah. Oh, that was easy. All right. Should we try a party one more time? Or should we just in, let's just invite Marcus over and suck his blood again. Sorry, Marcus, you're the only one. Please come over. Yay, there. Marcus is like, no worries, bro. Doesn't matter, I'm drinking your blood, bro. Thank you. All right, and we now know that this goes on for a long time. Okay, 
Goodbye. I shouldn't have done that in my own house. Um, okay, what's our girl doing? Should we try to throw another party to redeem ourselves? Or should we try some of the other things that we're allowed to do? I'm pulling them up. Visit a neighbor's house. Let's go visit a neighbor's house. We're gonna go visit Lilith. And then we'll be able to, to, we can marry and we can kill. Oh no, we can't have a wedding because we don't have a thousand dollars. Okay, we're gonna elope. Here we go. They're eloping, y'all. Is this when we get his money, maybe? Yay! It's happening. Wedding on a budget because we don't have any money to actual actually plan a wedding. Yay. Thank you. Caleb and Reese are having their first kiss. They're now married, so all they have to do is visit a neighbor's house, or we can try to have another party. Okay, let's go. Let's go vi visit Lilith. Okay, let's knock on the door. Come on in. Wow, look at this home. All right, y'all. We can kill him now. I wish that she was a klepto now, so that we could steal something and sell it for money. Okay, cool. It doesn't say how long we have to stay here. So let's go home and let the death begin. So we might need to wait till the daylight so that we can kill him with daylight. Because what I'm planning on doing is building a, a fence, like a little garden fence. And then we're just kind of going to leave him in the sun. <laughs> it's going to be brutal. But this is the life that we chose. Okay, I'm going to come up, go to sleep, and then... When we arise, in the meantime, Caleb, practice programming and like, please make us a, a mod or plug-in or something. It's gonna be him. Yay, he made us $12. Okay, so we can try to do a fence. Might as well try it. This is his little death cage. Caleb, you're wanted. You're requested outside. Hey, he just made us $14. Thank you, Caleb. I'm here. Either way, he is dying today. Oh no, he has sun resistance. Damn it, we picked like a super vampire. Let's take his skills off. How do I even take it off? It doesn't let me take it off. Oh my god, this is obnoxious. Okay, we just, let's put a fire pit in here. This, oh my god, why are they so huge? I don't remember them being so big. Oh, this is so complicated. <laughs> I'm gonna rebuild this gate. So that's around here. Caleb, please enter. Okay. Light this, Caleb. Is he immune to this? Add fuel. Oh my god. How is he immune? Add fuel. Add more. Add more. Look, he's just having a roaring fire out here. I can't build a pool. I didn't have enough money. We need something else. I'm trying to get him to play with it. Oh, a cheap rug? Okay, let's buy a cheap rug. What's our cheapest rug? This one. Great. That feels flammable, right? Okay, let's try this. Let's also size it up. Please, please add fuel. Add more fuel. Honestly, y'all, he might die just from being hungry. Ooh, I'm completely, like, fine now about killing him. I'm like, yeah. whatever. I'm going to kill him. But it's like, the fact that he won't die, it's just annoying me now. We're just going to make him starve. So for the challenge, she has to technically be watching him. It's honestly, it's pretty savage that they're like, the widow has to watch. Oh, he just has complete disregard. He's laughing and dancing in my face. He's mocking me. Do we still have nine hours for him to... Oh my God. I chose incorrectly. I think he's. I think he truly still has eight hours before he dies, y'all. Our Black Widow went to sleep. He still has seven hours. Oh, six hours before dying. He's finally starting to look sad. Four hours. My goodness. Look, and she's just so happy. <laughs> two hours, y'all. He has two hours, and then he's dead. Oh my god, it's happening, y'all. 28 minutes. He can't get out. Oh my god, y'all. It's happening. It's happening. 
Look at he just tried to get out and he couldn't. Is 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 this not actually gonna kill him? If he just like literally stayed in here forever, would he not die? Oh my god, y'all! Why did I choose a vampire? I don't think he's gonna die. They can only die of thirst if their energy is low. Oh my god! I don't. I think it's gonna be a long time before his energy gets low. He has that like full energy. Hey, wake up, wake up. We gotta, we gotta go to the gym. We gotta take him to the gym. We're, we're gonna go to the gym. He just, he just has to drown. He just has to. Where's the gym? <laughs> you see this oh, whoops. Damn it. No. No. Because we made him too thirsty. That's fine. I'll let him go shower. And then when she wakes up. We'll put him in the pool since she oh, yeah. technically has to be watching him. Oh, God, there's other people in the pool. Oh, no, there's a little girl in the pool. Oh, my God. Okay, okay, okay. How, what, what, I, I need someone to tell me. Uh, the fence? Like that? Is that what we're saying? Oh, God, she does have to see him. Okay, so she'll be able to see him right there. <laughs> oh, my God, but he's, he has so much energy, y'all. How can we kill Caleb? Because he has just so much freaking energy. Caleb is just gaining fitness. He's just over there working on his fitness. There are other people here. So he's going to come out and do vampire things to them. <gasps> oh, yes. Yes. It's working, y'all. You're in here now. Oh, and he's getting cold. Good. Since his vampire energy is low, we think that he'll die. I'm just letting her nap. It's happening. It's happening. I'm just going to put a toilet here so that she can pee right here. <laughs> and I'm going to put a bed. This is crazy, y'all. We're moving so fast. And then now it's just this. Please, can something happen? Hey, look, keep swimming. Keep swimming. This is what I am going to do. I'm going to put a ramp here. And then I'm going to create an enclosure for him to use his powers. How did that man just get there? I don't understand. Why? Do we have to move our ramp now? I think we have to move our ramp for this freaking teen. Goodness. Okay. Y'all, the struggle is so real today. Show your dark form. Get rid of your vampiric energy. Oh, okay. He has low energy now. I am going to fence her in too. That honestly just takes a lot of the of the pressure off he won't go back in the pool because he's too uncomfortable oh my god can caleb be killed oh god i thought that this was gonna be quick i thought so so wrong no more vampire husbands i want to kill this vampire and i can't do it he wants he wants to swim now will he be able to get in some laps go get out okay moving fridge over to here and then we're gonna put some more fences what a mess. All right, Caleb, come up here and repair this fridge. Will it happen? He's just gonna repair the fridge. We want him to die. And then look, he's happier than our than our widow. Why is he not dying? God, this is so much work. And look at how terrible her needs are. Will he ever die? I'm giving, giving her a nice ass bed. He deserves some real sleep. I'm literally Googling it and I don't see a way for him to die aside from not being a vampire anymore. But it's like he can die from accidental fires. All right. So we just need to set it on fire. We're just doing this. He's in a glass cage of death. So we have the fireplace in there Add as many rugs and furniture as possible. Y'all, this is out of control. Yeah, that's a nice big rug. Okay. Christmas tree, Christmas tree. Okay, just as long as he has room to light this. Light it. God, I I don't think that he's gonna die, y'all. We need to get a shitty grill and put it in here. Like this one, like the barbecue drum. Now add fireworks and set them off. <gasps> he's still alive. Look at Caleb. How did things not catch on fire? It's happening. It's happening. He has to die. He has to. Will they all set each other off? Is that the idea? Let's see. Okay, Caleb, please. Light it. Huh. Huh. 
Why are they not setting each other off, y'all? Oh my god, where did he go? <gasps> what? Why did it move him to out there? What the heck? And I'm gonna build walls around him. He's now enclosed in the room. I want a big rug and a tarp and that and that. Now we need our, our Christmas trees. Here we go. Building our kill room. <laughs> Let's get our fireworks, y'all. One. Two, three. Okay. Should we see if this works? All right. Can you light this? Can you light any of them? Where is she? Can't she even get over here? Come over here. Come on. Okay. Great. Let's try. Let's try. Why is it not actually lighting? That's the thing that's confusing to me. I just don't see a world where, where this is gonna work. I feel like I can't quit now. I, like, I, I've, I've killed a vampire on my own accidentally. So why? Is this not working? Why, 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 why? You need to narrow down to vampire pack and search for the debug drink. Let's try. Okay. We're gonna make him drink this, y'all. Here we go. We just need to turn him into unvampire and then we'll just burn him. So now it's in our inventory. What do we do now? Okay. Yes. Yes. <gasps> Yay! Oh my god. He's no longer a vampire. And finally. Okay. Now we go drown him. Yeah. Let's see how much money we have to see if we can just build a pool. All right. We might have enough money to build a pool now. Yes. Okay, we just need a ramp for him to get in. There he goes. Swim, bitch. Swim. We're just getting all we're getting all her needs up while he is doing this. They said it couldn't be done. Oh my god, there's a little girl here while we're just killing our husband. Go boy, swim. Swim, swim, swim. I'm glad that we took the time to fill her needs. Oh my god. <gasps> Oh my god, he's just under there. Oh. R.I.P. for Caleb. <laughs> oh my god. Finally, y'all. Finally. Yay. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh. All right, y'all. It is done. We made zero dollars from him, and he drowned very viciously. <laughs>So I think it's safe to say that this challenges a lot and it's specifically a lot when you try to kill a master vampire that has resistances to everything. You live and you learn and then you adapt and figure out who's better to kill. Next, we'll be going for Marcus on episode two. I have a lot of really cool projects coming up and I'm able to do those projects through support on my Patreon. If you feel willing and able, join the Patreon family. I've got a lot of really cool exclusive perks on there that I'm excited to share with you. Be sure to like and subscribe and leave me like a little heart in the comments or something. Cause that'd be cute. And that'll make me feel nice. Okay. Bye.